Russian air defenses, Melissa, did say that they shot down a UFO. They actually released a video of it. We're looking at it here. Uh, this was reportedly shot down in the Rostov area near the Ukraine border. Unidentified flying objects, or UFOs as they are popularly known, have become a topic of public debate with various governments investigating the strange phenomenon. The latest to join the bandwagon is Ukraine, whose airspace has become host to UFOs in recent months. With both the Pentagon and NASA ramping up their efforts to investigate unidentified aerial phenomena, a Ukraine research team claims to have conducted its own investigation, releasing images of aerial objects that cannot be easily identified. What has the Ukrainian team recently encountered and what has the anonymous organization said about it? Stay with us until the end to find out everything about this recent development. During the war that has plagued Ukraine for almost 10 months, its airspace has been surrounded by warplanes, missiles and aircraft transporting diplomats and officials from foreign states that are sympathetic to Ukraine's cause. UFOs, on the other hand, are the most unexpected and unpredictable visitors, particularly during times of violent conflict. Officials from the military, as well as members of the group Anonymous, have just made the announcement that an unidentified object has been brought down in Rostov. The object has been referred to as unidentified by the local news outlets, and they have said that military officers spotted it and then destroyed it. The governor of Rostov Oblast, Vasily Golubev, was the first to broadcast the news on Telegram, stating that it had been seen over the town of Sultan Sala. He was quoted as saying, a small object in the shape of a ball has been encountered flying in the wind at an altitude of approximately one and a half miles. The decision was then taken to shoot it down. I urge everyone to remain calm. To ensure security, all forces and means are involved. The sky is covered with anti-aircraft defences. Because of the way that it was worded, this story gained traction on social media where many questions were whether or not they had successfully shot down a conventional aircraft. A local news site was among the first to cover the odd encounter, stating that an unidentified aircraft in the shape of a ball had been liquidated and that military personnel were quick to come on location to inspect the downed aircraft. That evening, various television channels detailed how Rostov's air defence systems had been operating, with one channel going so far as to share actual footage of the event, including the time when the unidentified object was taken out from the area. Someone can be heard in the background of the clip saying, look, another one is gone. Something over there just went down. Even the houses are shaking. Even if the identity of the UFO is unknown, it does not look possible that it was a probe of some kind sent by a highly developed alien species to investigate our planet. In fact, a Russian lawmaker claimed that Ukraine had dispatched a drone. According to the local newspaper Rostov Gazeta, Russian state Duma lawmaker Anatoly Wasserman stated on Telegram that Ukraine forces, which he referred to as Kiev terrorists, are shooting indiscriminately at Russian residents in order to create panic. The Sea of Azov, a vital strategic waterway in the Russian-Ukraine war, runs along the coast of the Rostov Oblast. Even while Russia does not actually control the entirety of the Kherson, Zaporizhia, Donetsk and Luhansk Oblasts, it has already asserted full sovereignty over all of the territory in Ukraine that is adjacent to the Sea of Azov. Nevertheless, despite this conflict and the comments made by governments, a significant number of people living in the Rostov Oblast were not entirely content with this explanation. According to various allegations made by residents, the moon was shot down, a balloon carrying Winnie the Pooh was shot down by Piglet's pistol, a weather balloon and Santa Claus was on his way back to the North Pole as reported by the Rostov Gazeta. It is not the first time that Rostov Oblast in Russia is said to have seen some kind of unexplained phenomenon. In 2007, during a significant storm, fishermen working along the coast of the Sea of Azov were able to reel in a strange 100 kilogram life form that seemed to defy explanation. They had used a mobile camera to snap a picture of this strange creature that made a squeaking sound, which they believed to be some kind of extraterrestrial. According to a narrative that was published in Komolskaya Pravda, the Russian fishermen decided to consume the alleged extraterrestrial life form before anyone could verify these claims. One of the fishermen claimed that the food was the best he had ever tasted in his life. 
Naturally, there is a strong probability that this was not an alien, and many people believe that the creature was either a sturgeon or a guitar fish. The stories, however, do not end here. Recently, a soldier was speaking to camera while strange-looking things flew by in the backdrop. What's astonishing is that the only way to observe this object was if the video speed was drastically lowered, leading amateur researchers to conclude that it couldn't be a plane or a glitch. Surprisingly, further questions were raised when the shape of the object was revealed. The items emerged in two frames of the video and appeared to be in the shape of a flawless disc. This sighting occurred exactly one week after scientists in Ukraine published their findings. They explained that after monitoring the sky, they had discovered squadrons and fleets of unknown aircrafts that are going at high speeds, don't match anything else in the sky and are currently everywhere. When these photographs were shared online, some speculated that it could have been one of these things that was accidentally recorded. The researchers added that several of the mysterious aircraft that have been seen throughout the air had been monitored using cameras that observe meteors, and that many of these objects were reaching speeds of tens of thousands of miles per hour. Another mystery about these objects is that they do not appear to generate a sonic boom. This phenomenon has been studied previously, and it was previously stated that aircraft travelling at tens of thousands of miles per hour would continually be creating sonic booms. However, many who have investigated it have concluded that these objects are doing something distinct that permits them to travel at high speeds without producing a sonic boom. Three scholars came up with their own findings in an effort to explain all of these occurrences. The main astronomical observatory of NAS of Ukraine conducts an independent study of UAP, according to researchers B. E. Zilyev, V. N. Pechikov and V. M. Reshetink, and has managed to acquire imagery displaying multiple anomalous aerial events. The team claims to use a pair of meteor stations in Kiev and Vinarivka, each outfitted with video cameras that observe the daytime sky. The researchers claim to have developed a special observation technique for detecting and evaluating UAP characteristics in a recent publication reporting their findings. Based on their observations, they classify their UAP observations into two basic groups, which they name cosmics and phantoms. We note that cosmics are luminous objects brighter than the background of the sky, the authors write, noting three subcategories of cosmic each named after various birds, swift, falcon and eagle whereas phantoms are dark objects, with contrast from several to about 50%. The Ukrainian team says they have detected UAP under a variety of conditions and have observed what they characterize as a significant number of objects whose nature is not clear. The cameras, which were set approximately 75 miles apart, enabled the researchers to frequently see odd objects moving in the sky. Flights of individual, group and squadrons of UFOs were detected travelling swiftly, according to the study. According to the research, with several of the objects exhibiting speeds from 3 to 15 degrees per second and varying degrees of brightness that the team estimates within a 10 to 20 hertz range. In addition, the research team made use of synchronised camera systems, which, as stated in their paper, allowed the detection of a variable object at an altitude of 17 kilometres. The team believes that by using instrumentation used to measure colour variations, they will be able to discern the features of the appearance of some of the objects they spotted and estimate their distance. The researchers believe that the objects that they refer to as phantoms appear to have an extremely low reflectivity. As a result, they describe the objects as a completely black body that does not emit and absorb all the radiation falling on it. According to the researchers, such an object may be visible because it shields radiation due to Rayleigh scattering, an effect that explains light particles that become scattered without changing their wavelengths. The researchers estimate the size of the phantoms to be between 3 and 12 metres and that they are capable of speeds of up to 15 kilometres per second. They write in their report that phantoms are observed in the troposphere at distances up to 10 to 12 kilometres. Within their study, the researchers show a number of graphs that indicate variations in the colour and brightness of the object, as well as the speed of the objects and other properties. However, the writers do not give any possible explanations or hypotheses regarding the objects and their appearance, or whether or not they could have mundane underlying causes. Moreover, they do not address the possibility that the objects could have alien origins. Are there really UAPs in the skies above Ukraine? Tell us in the comments down below.